Hey guys, and welcome back to more Knights of Pen and Paper 2. We are preparing for the final battle. But so sobering news. What is the business with the monks of, of Na? You know why we're here, to see Zana. Uh, all who wish to speak Zana must prove themselves worthy. Again, do you find everybody who comes in here a cheap way to get XP or something? You grow wise. Yeah, we gotta kill some more initiates. We've done this like... How many times have we proven ourselves worthy? I think... Is this four times now? I believe so. That'd be my guess. Yeah, they can attack twice. We all know that. However, they don't attack that strongly, so... Not to the end of the world. Oops, did I just attack with... Oh no, I didn't. Okay, good. I'm like, did I just strike normally with my mage? But it didn't look like it did. Incest is a bit of a pain in the butt, but... Not too bad. May as well go for the stun there. Stun the whole back row if possible. Two root of three ain't bad. Yeah, see, like he's getting pretty smacked around. I'm just gonna purge everybody just to get that burn off him because it could, if it resists, if it persists rather, could do a little bit of extra damage to him. And I don't think we're too worried about him getting taken out. But watch, he's gonna get taken out yet. So that's one down. And then I can possibly stun the guy in the front row. We can stun the guys in, possibly with in the back with more group of assay. Just put a new carapace on him. That way he survives for sure. So critical weakness. He could possibly burn, but Okay. He's really getting smacked around. Um, perfect. And defeated. So, we can just rest here. If he rolls above 14, we'll successfully rest. No, he probably won't heal all the way, but it won't be the end of the world. Kiss doesn't have that much to help to heal, but he probably won't heal all the way. That's just because that's how resting works. Yeah. Only about half of that, that's fine. You bring the sword as Gwyn Su. Now we have all we need to send you to the spirit realm. We also learned the spirit style of the Sober Master. Look out, Holy Lord. Sober Master. You know, that old guy who hangs out in the bamboo forest? The Sober Master died 200 years ago. He was murdered by Oni Lord. What? You mean we got Kung Fu lessons from the ghost? No wonder he knew spirit style. It's great honor to be instructed by the Sober Master. Perhaps you have a chance to win after all. Oh yeah, you're just gonna let me go in there and just die? What a jerk. Getting into the spirit. Zinni performs ritual to open the way to the spirit realm. The sacred mirror, bowl, mirror, and sword will open a door to the spirit realm. You will there you can instruct only the Lord to recover the jaded idol. What's so important about this jaded idol anyway? With the jaded idol, only the Lord can merge the spirit realm with the liberal and more origami forever. He might conquer paperos too. Now if we have anything to say about it. Wait, if only the Lord had the jaded idol all this time, why is he has already won? Er, he's waiting for the moon and stars to be in the proper alignment. And when will that be? Very soon. Very soon. Maybe tonight. I guess we'll better hurry then. Is there any chance to wave some incense around to complete the ritual? The door to the spirit realm is open. I don't see it. This is a test. Obviously, I, I would not open a dangerous door in the spirit realm inside our monastery. Do you think I'm nuts? Travel to Orange Village to find the way to the spirit realm. So we have to travel to... Or Gavi Village. I guess that makes sense, though. It's possible that you always fail that. I'm not sure. I guess it's not for sure. But you think you think Oni Lord would do something to stop you from just making it super easily to the the rift. But probably not too much he can do about it with his weak little terracotta warriors. But. I still don't get why they're using spoons. Like, I'm guessing maybe there's a, like a cottage cheese reference in Terracotta or something I'm not quite grasping, but they do seem to use, be using spoons. You got lucky. How'd I get lucky? I defeated them fair and square. I'm up to a thousand gold. It's ridiculous, but I don't need to get any more items because I'm already overpowered as it is. The market sewer is being overrun by only Lord's forces. 
you have to hack or eat your way through. I, I don't get the Palakata thing. Just, just don't get it. I guess I could look up something here and see, but not the end of the world. Let's keep smacking the warriors. Smacking the base. Okay, we'll stun the back row. Because then we can fire them. The far, the far combined with the um, wrap is so powerful. Got the whole back row stun. Um, perfect. He's three elements. Perfect. He will most likely um, be dead next round. <laughs> they all get some pretty serious damage. Um, let's just go to stun him again. Okay, he resisted, but that's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, may as well fire them all again. Make sure... That's he probably won't kill anybody, because I'm sure he's already going to die. Unless he rolled... I guess he could have rolled out at one of them. But... Exactly. But I guess the fire probably didn't have to kill him anyway, but... <laughs> 25. Like, it just does so much damage. It's ridiculous. So kill him, and just finish off this one. Perfect. How close are we to getting a completed Terracotta Warrior in our thing here? 96%. That's actually really high. Do I have to fight more Terracotta Warriors? Oh, I have to just kill six. Whatever. I'm actually just going to fight one. Because that's all I need to fight. I definitely don't need the XP or the gold or anything. So I'll just fight the one Terracotta Warrior that I'm required to fight. And we'll call it a day. Just in the sense the episode's not over. I'm going to minor endurance, which you can combine to get. I'm going to major endurance. So the foreign heroes again increase their village with their, their unarmed presence. Whoa. Have you seen a door to spirit realm down here? Yes. No be a while ago. East of the village. Going through the door that... Something wants to know with honor lord. I look upon you with newfound respect, but be sure to sell your bar tabs before you go. I've added spirit room to your map. So that must be that thing I've been seeing out there. Ooh, doggy, he's close to a level up. Or rather, she's close to a level up, because it is a female character, but... Let us continue. So that's the spirit fortress. Okay, and that's also where... Um, quest is, but I'm guessing we're going to have to pick up the quest. Knock on an oiler's door. Challenge his spirit well. Okay, so this is the spirit realm. Interesting. He's a village you find shivering hole in the air. On the other side, you see the dreadful spirit forges of Oni Lord. So, students, you're ready to meet your destiny. So, Master, you said we'd never see you again. I changed my mind. Do you have more wise advice for us? Only that his powers is grace in his own realm. He'll be overconfident. Plus, we have the power element of surprise. No, you don't. Only Lord knows you're coming. He told me you saw himself. Oh, right, I forgot. That was several quests ago. His entire arm will be waiting to meet you. Can we win? Victor's a state by. If you can defeat one foe, you can defeat ten. If you can defeat ten, you can defeat ten thousand. Ten thousand? I'm rounding up a little. Farewell again, my students. Trust in your training. Things with the Spirit Fortress await. Oh, and belly level? I'm just gonna go with more. Ooh, it's only one burn? Well. That's pretty crappy. Like two damage and one burn. I guess it's only one damage and I mostly use, yeah, whatever. Even though it's not great, we'll go with it. This is two crit, perfect. Two crit up to 45%. So let us enter the dungeon. On the floor of this room, you see a very flat skeleton wearing a fedora and gripping a whip. Suddenly, Hubo drops his feet and starts to roll towards you. Oh good, I thought only my tank was going to roll success there. And I was going to be like, WTF mate. How does my tank heal the one who dodges a big rolling boulder? It's just kind of a sleep mass of palace shot. discuss about the clarifications of monsters alerts the guards. Oh my god, those guys are tough looking. I'm glad I'm tough. Because these guys look tough. Let's grapple them with vines. That guy will get out of his vines, but 
we can flame them. We usually have flame the guy in the front because the guys in the back are going to have... I'm going to re-grapple them fine to see if I can get the stun again, so... This is obviously the character we want to kill, and these guys are going to be get dealt bigger DOT effects, so... And this don't do that much damage. They look really tough and menacing, but don't do that much damage. It's so worthwhile to have him immune to stun. It's just ridiculously good. So, come on. You have 45% crit rate. <laughs> you can't crit anything. Um, don't think I really need that. Because we're doing good damage without it. Ooh. Deals so much damage. Um, I do want to heal that character, get him totally up, and can deal with the remaining of Pony Lord's goons. The thing is, we do want to make sure we heal characters because it's harder to heal in the dungeon, I find, than any other area, but not the end of the world. We still have lots of endurance, so as long as we have endurance, we're still fine. The walls of this room are suddenly covered with mold, torn tapestries, some of the tapestries, but oh yeah, the mods, monsters like the hide behind the tapestry. Ooh, snake women. Backstab, but no critical hit. The backstab's kind of weak, because I think it only adds, yeah, three extra damage. And they have to be full health enemies. Um, that's not too bad. Stun the character in the front, now we can go for the stun in the characters in the back. Oh, really? She recovered. She was five, then six. I actually haven't had to worry about looking at um, the um, initiative too closely because, well, we haven't really had too much struggle. But later on, it's very important which characters you stun and when. And that's just everybody healed. Actually, I should really focus on more heals and stuff. But we're just rocking these enemies' worlds, so it's not as big of a deal. But we do want to do this because it gives everybody a little bit more mana. Heals everybody up a little bit. So, see? Just keep healing everybody a little bit. Because these guys only deal like 14 damage, so already kind of negated that. So, again, heal up. See, that's, see, some of the guys are now full endurance because of that, so it's super worthwhile, super powerful. So we can continue. So there's nothing in that area. Four troops players to the table and on the center. Fire pen center and monsters roast piece of meat. The monsters spot you and attack. Oh, just more of the same. See, look at this. I should have a pretty good um, chance to counterattack. We're not hitting any of these guys. Hit by a little bit. I see he was only one with missing mat. So it actually wasn't worthwhile, but still not the end of the world. So let's foul ball that character, burn them, then we can wrap the characters in the back row, get them with fire and with the vines, and we should be able to finish off the snake lady with four swords. Um, yeah, I think we'll just rest. Man, like, we have so much endurance and we have no trouble, because he's just... He heals so much as well for mana. So how much does he get per turn? Five every turn? My spells get a little more expensive, but not horribly more expensive. See, even 34 damage isn't that much. Especially when you can heal so effectively. So. As long as my characters can survive, I can usually heal them up pretty good. And I have so many additional heals in here. He has a heal and a shield, and so lots of opportunity to heal and gain resources back. So, I guess this last looks pretty wild. A small one cup filled with what looks to be sparkling water. What do you do? Um, I'm just gonna leave it because last time we did that, I drank and then took a lot of damage, and I don't really have much to heal. It could heal you as well. We got a stun charm. Which is actually not that good, believe it or not, because, well, I already have max stun on him. Crack the sea and allows a small stream of water to fall into the floor. The floor is covered with algae and moss. The relentless buzz insects fills the room. 
Okay, well, this is gonna go down to level two. Cause as I, okay. You feel a breeze as you enter the nut. Then another. You realize slashing blades just barely missed you and are more coming. So it's a blade trap. That two out of. Yeah, it did some. Then there's more. Oh, okay. Then they just got wounded. Well, that's not the end of the world. It should have dealt damage. It should have dealt endurance damage. Or maybe it did. <laughs> it's very hard to see someone losing one endurance. Um, yeah. May as well flame them. I think it should be blue if it is, but one damage isn't that much anyway. Because, yeah, they're only wound too, so it's not. Ooh, that's actually pretty, pretty rough, but he'll get to attack before that character, and he'll actually get to attack before him as well, so we can just heal him up. I could actually frostbite it, which I guess I could have, but I'm not too worried about it because just heal them all the way up here. So heal him for a hundred. And let's think. And the thing is, chances are he's not gonna attack him anyway. Like chances are very low. Like what are the chances he's gonna attack him? Like five percent. So not very high at the all. Perfect. And we got another side. Item has been sent to the stash because your inventory is currently full, which it is. I said for it to crater, some force fairly exploded here. Head up. Ooh, it's back to Tome. Tome is not that important. After all, it just contains some orange knock knock jokes that make very little sense. Well, could have been something good. Jim was once an armory. We got a sausage. Most of the important items have been stolen, so we found a sausage. By a flare smell, that's not about assume this comes with the same amount of guana, but otherwise empty. Well, that's good. We actually made it through there with relative ease. So, but anyway, guys, I think we will call this an episode. We'll be back for more exploring of the dungeon. Thanks, guys. Later.